Alright, this is how to make uh, Windows, X, uh, Windows XP, Vista, or 7 boot up faster and shut down faster. Um, so, I'm going to be using uh, CCleaner, Defragler, and msconfig. Uh, CCleaner uh, is basically self explanatory. It cleans up your um, temporary files, any kind of temporary files, and uh, these won't be selected. If you like to have like uh, Windows, your size and location to be saved, then and other stuff, just leave that there, and pretty much this won't speed you up, and everything else, everything that's not checked will not really speed you up except for removing desktop shortcuts, but some people like to have some shortcuts on their desktop, so there you go. Um, and then on top of that, uh, you should clean out your registry, scan for issues, which I will probably not have any of. Um, you can uninstall uh, programs which will actually speed up your, pro uh, your computer a lot as well. Um, uh, your startup, which I'll go into on an MS config, uh, sub restore points. Um, if you, if in here, in, if in the cleaner, you don't want to delete all of your cookies, you can add them to a keep list, along with if you don't want to delete specific files or uh, if you do want to delete specific files uh, or like clear up any folders then you can do that as well um, and as a security measure there's the um, simple overwrite and other stuff wipe free space um, so yeah that's uh, CCleaner I exit that and now Defragler. Uh, Defragler obviously it defragments your computer. Um, if you want to, you can go ahead and just select specific files. Like this one's fragmented into six uh, fragments. This is not dif is not fragmented. This one right here, but this one is. So if you do that, defragment and it won't be defrag it won't be fragmented anymore wherever it is um, or you can go ahead and analyze and defrag your whole drive which is what I usually do but yeah sometimes it's ornery and won't defrag so you have to go and search for the files and you can delete them or like resave them or something like that, open them up, save them as a different file or whatever. Anyway, uh, that's that. You can also search for specific files, size of files that are defragmented. Um, and then now we'll go into msconfig. So msconfig looks like this. Uh, you go in here. Um, the only thing you can really change is uh, no GUI boot goes ahead and just makes it so that um, like words will run down your screen um, instead of instead of seeing like Windows uh, Windows and then it has a little loading bar right here in the center it'll go ahead and just run lines straight down your screen um, and then boot log, um, base video, OS information, don't do anything, um, boots, oh, um, makes them permanent, no, hell no, um, go ahead and, uh, this will be set to 1 and unchecked, uh, so go ahead and check that and set it to 4. It just tells the operating system that you do have multiple cores 
and that you do want to use all of those multiple cores in your uh, boot up process. Um, booting, uh, you would like to probably get rid of some services, hide the Microsoft ones, and get rid of these. More than likely you want them all gone, uh, except for virus scanners and malware uh, detectors and stuff. Um, and get rid of these also, um, as long as they're not anti-word and spyware. Alright. Hi! Alright, and there you go. See ya.